Hello, this is Azrael, and today we're going to be talking about Apollo, uh, the Greek and Roman god Apollo, who is associated with music, truth, prophecy, healing, uh, the sun's light, uh, to a lesser extent, even plagues. Uh, he is associated with poetry uh, and even archery, uh, not the hunting kind of archery, but more of the sport kind. The hunting archery would actually go to his sister Artemis. Now, what we're going to do is going to make a simple oracle uh, using his influence over prophecy and to a lesser extent grain, since the, we're going to be making a bread kind of oracle. The bread is going to be a simple recipe using one cup of flour, one egg, and one quarter cup of water. We're going to make little balls. I like making at least an even amount of balls. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write on a piece of paper uh, various outcomes or decisions. Yes, no, um, or other kinds of possibilities. Uh, if you could use an example, like say you buy a house and uh, you want to have the Oracle give you different suggestions on what to do. Uh, should you get a second job? Should you just ask for a raise, you know, and what you're going to do is, is you're going to ball these pa pieces of paper up or fold them up and you're going to stick them into various uh, balls of dough. And then you're going to bake the balls of dough. And then when they're done baking, just until they're hard, uh, again, we're not going to eat the bread, so it doesn't really matter if it tastes good or looks good. Now, after you, after you have them, of course, let them cool. Pray to Apollo. In the morning ask your question and pick your ball open it up and find out which one you chose it's that simple kind of resembles a fortune cookie but this kind of predates it uh, some pointer tips though is when you when you make these balls of dough that you put your uh, your question in or your uh, your statement in, try to make them as look uh, uh, make them look alike as much as possible. So that way, when uh, when you do this, if you're doing it by yourself, your subconscious mind won't select the one that you know has the yes answer or no answer. And if you are only going to have a yes and no oracle, make sure you have an even amount of balls of dough with an even amount of yes and no. And uh, I like, uh, if when I do that, I like pulling two to three. And if I get two no's and one yes, that usually means no. And that works the same way with the yes. Now, um, also understand that oracles or any form of divination only gives you the answer that's probable at the current time when it's asked. Just because it's a yes or just because it's a no does not mean it is locked in stone. Things can change. So keep that in mind. Um, also, if you are, don't want to use Apollo, you could uh, use your patron deity um, or any deity that's associated with uh, prophecy and uh, bread. Uh, for example, if you was a witch and just so happened to use a Christian pantheon, uh, I mean, Jesus gives prophecy, and he's associated with bread imagery as well. So he would be a, a nice candidate uh, to uh, to use this ritual with too, if you are a a witch that uh, just so happens to be Christian. Um, I I like, however, to use Apollo uh, for this one, and uh, that's a simple little divination. And um, see you next time. If you uh, like these little tidbits of information. And, Please like and subscribe, help my channel grow a little. And until next time, as always, keep the magic.